not all domestic violence cases are created equal. Um, first of all, the first thing you have to understand is, is that domestic violence is a real problem. I mean, there are true battered women spouses um, out there um, who are the victims of, of, of what can be this circle of violence um, where they are in an abusive relationship um, and, and they are being abused. And those cases are serious and, and, and they are prosecuted and they're prosecuted for a reason. Um, and so those cases certainly exist. Uh, and, and of course they, they, they exist quite frequently. But on the other side of that coin, you have these cases where they are often a reaction to a heated argument. Two spouses are yelling at each other and, and, and having a difficult evening and, you know, tempers flare and, and people get uh, people let, sort of let the te their temper, their, their frustration uh, get a hold of them. And one of them or even frequently, sometimes both of them will call the police and report domestic violence and, and the police arrive. We'll talk about that problem in a minute because quite way too often, in fact, almost every time in Michigan, a phone call for domestic violence is going to uh, is going to result in an arrest. You know, really, in many ways, the $64,000 question, because they really are different. I mean, they're not the run of the mill case. The a first time simple domestic violence is a misdemeanor, uh, punishable in Michigan by up to 93 days in jail and a fine. Um, and anyways, the, the same penalty and consequences as say a retail fraud. Um, but they're not retail frauds. They're not. They're not uh, reckless drivings. They these cases contain um, a very, very real, uh, definable um, consequence that many uh, similarly uh, situated uh, misdemeanors do not. Um, they almost kind of fall into, or not not almost, but they do kind of fall into the protected, almost politically correct protected class of criminal offenses like drunk driving and, and sexual assault, where, you know, the idea of you, you're presumed innocent until you're proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt um, kind of gets shoved by the wayside where you're presumed guilty and and you almost have to go to court to, to, to fight for your innocence and, 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 you know the the bond conditions and the consequences of these arrests initially can be very very difficult um, and troubling for for many uh, many people and most most importantly professionals.